density functional theory is a computational quantum mechanical modeling method used in physics, chemistry and material science to investigate the electronic structure of many body systems, in particular atoms, molecules, and the condensed phases. Using this theory, the properties of a many-electron system can be determined by using functionals, i.e., functions of another function, which in this case is the spatially dependent electron density. Hence the name density functional theory comes from the use of functionals of the electron density. DFT is among the most popular and versatile methods available in condensed matter physics, computational physics, and computational chemistry. DFT has been very popular for calculations in solid-state physics since the 1970s. However, DFT was not considered accurate enough for calculations in quantum chemistry until the 1990s when the approximations used in the theory were greatly refined to better model the exchange and correlation interactions. In many cases the results of the FT calculations for solid-state systems agree quite satisfactorily with experimental data. Computational costs are relatively low when compared to traditional methods such as Hartree-Fock theory and its descendants based on the complex many-electron wave function. Despite recent improvements, there are still difficulties in using density functional theory to properly describe intermolecular interactions, especially van der Waals forces, charge transfer excitations, transition states, global potential energy surfaces dopant interactions and some other strongly correlated systems, and in calculations of the band gap and ferromagnetism in semiconductors, its incomplete treatment of dispersion can adversely affect the accuracy of DFT in the treatment of systems which are dominated by dispersion or where dispersion competes significantly with other effects. The development of new DFT methods designed to overcome this problem, by alterations to the functional and inclusion of additional terms to account for both core and valence electrons or by the inclusion of additive terms, is a current research topic. Overview of method Although density functional theory has its conceptual roots in the Thomas Fermi model, DFT was put on a firm theoretical footing by the two hohenberg cohn theorems. The original HK theorems held only for non-degenerate ground states in the absence of a magnetic field, although they have since been generalized to encompass these. The first HK theorem demonstrates that the ground state properties of a many-electron system are uniquely determined by an electron density that depends on only three spatial coordinates. It lays the groundwork for reducing the many-body problem of n electrons with three n spatial coordinates to three spatial coordinates, through the use of functionals of the electron density. This theorem can be extended to the time-dependent domain to develop time-dependent density functional theory, which can be used to describe excited states. The second HK theorem defines an energy functional for the system and proves that the correct ground state electron density minimizes this energy functional. Within the framework of cohn sham DFD, the intractable many-body problem of interacting electrons in a static external potential is reduced to a tractable problem of non-interacting electrons moving in an effective potential. The effective potential includes the external potential and the effects of the Coulomb interactions between the electrons, e.g., the exchange and correlation interactions. Modeling the latter two interactions becomes the difficulty within K's DFD. The simplest approximation is the local density approximation, which is based upon exact exchange energy for a uniform electron gas which can be obtained from the Thomas Fermi model and from fits to the correlation energy for a uniform electron gas. Non-interacting systems are relatively easy to solve as the wave function can be represented as a slater determinant of orbitals. Further, the kinetic energy functional of such a system is known exactly 
The exchange correlation part of the total energy functional remains unknown and must be approximated. Another approach, less popular than K's DFT but arguably more closely related to the spirit of the original HK theorems, is orbital free density functional theory, in which approximate functionals are also used for the kinetic energy of the non-interacting system derivation and formalism. As usual in many body electronic structure calculations, the nuclei of the treated molecules or clusters are seen as fixed, generating a static external potential V in which the electrons are moving. A stationary electronic state is then described by a wave function satisfying the many electron time independent Schrödinger equation where for the electron system, is the Hamiltonian, is the total energy, is the kinetic energy, is the potential energy from the external field due to positively charged nuclei, and is the electron-electron interaction energy. The operators are called universal operators as they are the same for any electron system, while is system dependent. This complicated many-particle equation is not separable into simpler single-particle equations because of the interaction term. There are many sophisticated methods for solving the many-body Schrödinger equation based on the expansion of the wave function in Slater. Determinants while the simplest one is the Hartree-Fock method, more sophisticated approaches are usually categorized as post-Hartree-Fock methods. However, the problem with these methods is the huge computational effort, which makes it virtually impossible to apply them efficiently to larger, more complex systems. Here DFT provides an appealing alternative, being much more versatile as it provides a way to systematically map the many-body problem with, onto a single-body problem without. In DFT the key variable is the particle density which for a normalized is given by this relation can be reversed, i.e., for a given ground state density it is possible, in principle, to calculate the corresponding ground state wave function. In other words, is a unique functional of, and consequently the ground state expectation value of an observable is also a functional of in particular. The ground state energy is a functional of where the contribution of the external potential can be written in explicitly in terms of the ground state density more generally. The contribution of the external potential can be written explicitly in terms of the density, the functionals and are called universal functionals, while is called a non-universal functional, as it depends on the system under study. Having specified a system, i.e., having specified, one then has to minimize the functional with respect to, assuming one has got reliable expressions for an, a successful minimization of the energy functional will yield the ground state density and thus all other ground state observables. The variational problems of minimizing the energy functional can be solved by applying the Lagrangian method of undetermined multipliers. First, one considers an energy functional that doesn't explicitly have an electron-electron interaction energy term, where denotes the kinetic energy operator and is an external effective potential in which the particles are moving, so that, thus, one can solve the so-called Cohn-Sham equations of this auxiliary non-interacting system, which yields the orbitals that reproduce the density of the original many-body system. The effective single particle potential can be written in more detail as where the second term denotes the so-called Hartree term describing the electron-electron Coulomb repulsion, while the last term is called the exchange correlation potential. Here, includes all the many particle interactions, since the Hartree term and depend on, which depends on the, which in turn depend on. The problem of solving the Cohn-Sham equation has to be done in a self-consistent way. Usually one starts with an initial guess for, then calculates the corresponding and solves the Cohn-Sham equations for the, from these one calculates a new density and starts again. This procedure is then repeated until convergence is reached. A non-iterative approximate formulation called Harris functional DFT is an alternative approach to this. NOTE1 
The one-to-one -one correspondence between electron density and single particle potential is not so smooth. It contains kinds of non-analytic structure, contains kinds of singularities, cuts and branches. This may indicate a limitation of our hope for representing exchange correlation functional in a simple analytic form, NOTE2. It is possible to extend the DFT idea to the case of green function instead of the density. It is called as Luttinger walled functional, written as, however, is determined not as its minimum, but as its extremum. Thus we may have some theoretical and practical difficulties. NOTE3. There is no one-to-one -one correspondence between one-body density matrix and the one-body potential. In other words, it ends up with a theory similar as the Hartree-Fock theory. Approximations. The major problem with DFT is that the exact functionals for exchange and correlation are not known except for the free electron gas. However, approximations exist which permit the calculation of certain physical quantities quite accurately. In physics the most widely used approximation is the local density approximation, where the functional depends only on the density at the coordinate where the functional is evaluated. The local spin density approximation is a straightforward generalization of the LDA to include electron spin. Highly accurate formulae for the exchange correlation energy density have been constructed from quantum Monte Carlo simulations of gelium. Generalized gradient approximations are still local but also take into account the gradient of the density at the same coordinate, using the latter very good results for molecular geometries and ground state energies have been achieved. Potentially more accurate than the GGA functionals are the meta-GGA functionals, a natural development after the GGA. Meta-GGA DFT functional in its original form includes the second derivative of the electron density whereas GGA includes only the density in its first derivative in the exchange correlation potential. Functionals of this type are, for example, TPSS and the Minnesota functionals. These functionals include a further term in the expansion, depending on the density, the gradient of the density and the Laplacian of the density. Difficulties in expressing the exchange part of the energy can be relieved by including a component of the exact exchange energy calculated from Hartree-Fock theory. Functionals of this type are known as hybrid functionals. Generalizations to include magnetic fields. The DFT formalism described above breaks down, to various degrees, in the presence of a vector potential, i.e., a magnetic field. In such a situation, the one-to-one -one mapping between the ground state electron density and wave function is lost. Generalizations to include the effects of magnetic fields have led to two different theories. Current density functional theory and magnetic field density functional theory. In both these theories, the functional used for the exchange and correlation must be generalized to include more than just the electron density. In current density functional theory, developed by Vigneler and Raysalt, the functionals become dependent on both the electron density and the paramagnetic current density. In magnetic field density functional theory, developed by Salisbury, Grace and Harris, the functionals depend on the electron density and the magnetic field, and the functional form can depend on the form of the magnetic field. In both of these theories it has been difficult to develop functionals beyond their equivalent to LDA, which are also readily implementable computationally. Recently an extension by Pan and Sani extended the hohenberg cohn theorem for non-constant magnetic fields using the density and the current density as fundamental variables. Applications In general, Density functional theory finds increasingly broad application in the chemical and material sciences for the interpretation and prediction of complex system behavior at an atomic scale. Specifically, DFT computational methods are applied for the study of systems to synthesis and processing parameters. In such systems, experimental studies are often encumbered by inconsistent results and non-equilibrium conditions. 
Examples of contemporary DFT applications include studying the effects of dopants on phase transformation behavior in oxides, magnetic behavior in dilute magnetic semiconductor materials and the study of magnetic and electronic behavior in ferroelectrics and dilute magnetic semiconductors. Also, it has been showed that DFT has a good result in the prediction of sensitivity of some nanostructures to environment pollutants like SO2 or acroline. In practice, cone sham theory can be applied in several distinct ways depending on what is being investigated. In solid-state calculations, the local density approximations are still commonly used along with plane wave basis sets. As an electron gas approach is more appropriate for electrons delocalized through an infinite solid. In molecular calculations, however, more sophisticated functionals are needed, and a huge variety of exchange correlation functionals have been developed for chemical applications. Some of these are inconsistent with the uniform electron gas approximation, however, they must reduce to LDA in the electron gas limit. Among physicists, probably the most widely used functional is the revised Perdue Burke Hoff exchange model. However, this is not sufficiently calorimetrically accurate for gas phase molecular calculations. In the chemistry community, one popular functional is known as BLYP. Even more widely used is B3LYP, which is a hybrid functional in which the exchange energy, in this case from Becker's exchange functional, is combined with the exact energy from Hartree-Fock theory. Along with the component exchange and correlation fun t -inals, three parameters define the hybrid functional, specifying how much of the exact exchange is mixed in. The adjustable parameters in hybrid functionals are generally fitted to a training set of molecules. Unfortunately, although the results obtained with these functionals are usually sufficiently accurate for most applications, there is no systematic way of them proving them. Hence in the current DFT approach it is not possible to estimate the error of the calculations without comparing them to other methods or experiments. Thomas Fermi model The predecessor to density functional theory was the Thomas Fermi model, developed independently by both Thomas and Fermi in 1927. They used a statistical model to approximate the distribution of electrons in an atom. The mathematical basis postulated that electrons are distributed uniformly in phase space with two electrons in every volume. For each element of coordinate space volume we can fill out a sphere of momentum space up to the Fermi momentum equating the number of electrons in coordinate space to that in phase space gives. Solving for and substituting into the classical kinetic energy formula then leads directly to a kinetic energy represented as a functional of the electron density, where as such, they were able to calculate the energy of an atom using this kinetic energy functional combined with the classical expressions for the nuclear electron and electron-electron interactions. Although this was an important first step, the Thomas Fermi equation's accuracy is limited because the resulting kinetic energy functional is only approximate, and because the method does not attempt to represent the exchange energy of an atom as a conclusion of the Pauli principle. An exchange energy functional was added by Dirac in 1928. However, the Thomas Fermi Dirac theory remained rather inaccurate for most applications. The largest source of error was in the representation of the kinetic energy, followed by the errors in the exchange energy, and due to the complete neglect of electron correlation, Teller showed that Thomas Fermi theory cannot describe molecular bonding. This can be overcome by improving the kinetic energy functional. The kinetic energy functional can be improved by adding the Weissacker correction, hohenberg cohn theorems. 1. If two systems of electrons, one trapped in a potential and the other in, have the same ground state density then necessarily. Corollary. The ground state density uniquely determines the potential and thus all properties of the system, including the many-body wave function. In particular, the HK functional, defined as is a universal functional of the density, 
2. For any positive integer and potential, a density functional exists such that obtains its minimal value at the ground state density of electrons in the potential. The minimal value of is then the ground state energy of this system.